A recent report from the CDC on a type of parasite that can lurk in pools has sparked concerns nationwide. The CDC says the number of reported outbreaks linked to the crypto parasite increased an average of 13% each year between 2009 and 2017. We went to the Rhode Island Department of Health and asked, what do people need to know? Hi, with this news reporter, Maury Hirsch Gordon joins us live in studio with the follow up. Maury. Mike and Shannon, this is a very serious issue prevalent during the summer months and especially on a hot day like today when people are looking to cool off. Rhode Island health officials warn us that these are parasites in communal water and even your basic chlorine can't kill these. A parasite is called Cryptosporium, crypto for short. It's spread by fecal matter, urine and sweat, usually generating from children around the age of five. The CDC report released on Thursday cited more than 4,200 illnesses nationwide from 2009 to 2017. Tests don't always cover everything, so the RI Health Department says taking preventative measures like thoroughly washing hands and showering before entering the pool are crucial. It's important to, for people to remember to, that they don't want to be swallowing any water. Um, that's one way that um, cryptosporidiosis can spread is when people swallow contaminated recreational water. An important thing for parents to do is to um, make sure that they're checking their, their, their children to make sure that they're not um, contaminating the pool water for others. For example, you know, if they're, if they're wearing diapers. And health officials also made it clear to inform to us that people should stay away from public or private pools if they're ill or just getting over being sick because it's an important step to take to keep others healthy and safe. In the studio, Maury Hirsch Gordon, Eyewitness News.